What is up everybody, welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to look at how to order and compare fractions that have the same denominator. Let's see what that means, let's go. Okay, so the thing we need to remember today is that the denominator splits our bar or splits our whole and then we're going to count the numerator. But that might not mean much at the moment, so let's first understand what numerators and denominators are. So if we're looking at this first fraction, 2 seventh, the number on the top, this is what we call our numerator. And the number on the bottom, this is our denominator. And what it essentially means is that the number on the bottom is how many we're going to split our whole into. So if we have our whole chocolate bar here, if we're looking at sevenths, as in our denominator is a seventh, it means we're splitting our chocolate into seven even pieces. So let's do that. There we go, so we have seven pieces that our chocolate bar has been split into. And our numerator means how many we're going to be looking at. So if it's got two sevenths, it means that we've got one, two of these individual sevenths. Because each of these little sections is worth one seventh. So when we're ordering and comparing fractions, what we want to see is which one has the smallest and which one has the largest value, and then we'll put them in order. So let's carry on breaking these fractions up. Let's look at question number two, one seventh. So again, I'm gonna split it into seven equal pieces. There we go, but in this one, I only have one seventh, so it means I'm only gonna color one of these sections, one seventh. And finally, with our last one, we have six sevenths. Six sevenths still means that we're gonna split it into seven. There we go, but this time I have one, two, three, four, five, and six of them, with each one being one seventh. So now when we're ordering them, we want to put them in order of size. And let's say we're gonna go in ascending order, which means that we're gonna go from smallest to largest. So we need to put these fractions from the smallest to the largest. Well, which one has the smallest value? Well, if I was gonna have one of these chocolate bars, the one that has the least would be this one, my one seventh. I only get a very small little part of the chocolate bar. So my first fraction in order would be one seventh. Then, which is the next smallest, we can see I have two sevenths. So my next one would be two sevenths. And then the biggest one, the one with the greater value, has six sevenths. So when I'm ordering these three fractions, the correct order from smallest to largest would be one seventh, then two seventh, then six sevenths. And what we should be able to see is that that's pretty easy to see when our denominators are all the same. We have sevenths. So what we can really do is just look at the numerator and just see that this is only one seventh. So that's obviously a very small amount. Then we have two sevenths, a little bit more, and then six sevenths, nearly a whole chocolate bar. So when our denominators are the same, all we really need to do is look at the numerators and put them in order. So this way round, this is what we called the ascending order from smallest to largest, but we could have the opposite. We could have the descending order, which means that our numbers go from largest to smallest. So the descending order would therefore be six sevenths, then two sevenths, and then one seventh. Whoa, 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 guys, if you are not a subscriber, what are you doing? Press that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on any more learning. Let's get back to the video. Let's look at how we can compare these two fractions. And again, what we can notice is I have the same denominator in both. And when we come to comparing, we have three very important symbols that we might use to help compare. We have greater than, and we say this is greater than because the number on the left-hand side, let's imagine I have five here, would be greater than three. And we know which way around I want to put this little triangle thing, which we call the crocodile, because he would want to eat the bigger number. If we make this little triangle into a crocodile, he would eat the bigger number. Five is bigger than three. But it could be the other way around. I could have three on this side and five on the other side. And that would mean that three is less than five. And again, the crocodile would want to eat the bigger number. So this number sentence says five is greater than three 
And this number sentence says three is less than five. But we also have another symbol. We have the equal symbol because sometimes some things are equal. I might have five on one side. Five is equal to three add two. They are both the same value. So therefore, the symbol would be equals. So let's put those three symbols over in this corner so we know where they are for later. We're going to end up using one of these in our circle here to compare my four sixths to my three sixths. But let's first of all see which one's going to be bigger or smaller. So again, I'm going to use my denominator to help me cut my chocolate bar into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And again, on my second one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. But on this first one, I have four of them. One, two, three, four. And on the second one, I only have three. One, two, three. So we should be able to see that the greater value, the bigger value, would be four sixths. So therefore, going back to my symbols, which one would the crocodile like to eat? Well, the crocodile will eat the bigger value. Therefore, my crocodile face will face the four sixth. And my number sentence reads, four sixths is greater than three sixths. And that's how to order and compare fractions. If we're ordering, we can use ascending, which means going from smallest to largest. Or we could use descending, which is from largest to smallest. And then when we're comparing, we could use the greater than, the less than, or the equal to symbol. Let's look at what to remember. First, we're going to check the denominators are all the same. Because when we're comparing, we want our denominators to be the same. Then we're going to draw a bar model to help us see the fraction. Just like we did here, we drew these bar models to help us actually see which one's greater. Then the numerator tells us how many to count in the fraction. Again, our four told us to color one, two, three, four, and our three told us to color only one, two, three. Once we've done that, we can clearly see which one is bigger or smaller. So your turn. Here are three fractions. I want you to have a go at putting these in order from smallest to largest. Have a go at thinking about this now. Press pause on the video. Put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark them all. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to order and compare fractions where the denominators are all the same. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head over to themathshelter.com to see lots more videos that are going to help you as well. But for now, guys, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.